All right, so this is a tutorial for Krim Tut, the faster of the two jump rolls in Tanked Up Trouble. This trick is extremely difficult. Uh, it's going to take you quite a lot of time to learn this trick, <clears throat> and it isn't suggested to learn this until you have either a low 35 or a 34 in all stages. Um, there's quite a lot going on here. There's a lot of things you're going to have to pay attention to. And, you know, it's it's going to take a lot of practice. It's going to take a lot of time to get comfortable with. But anyways, let's get right into it. Um, there are a couple different methods to doing this trick. Um, the method that I do that I was shown from Lepinok is the most consistent method to get, like, a consistent height out of the jump roll, which is very, very important. Um, your height is... Like, you want to have a consistent height. And this is the only setup I know that does this. Um, so you're going to want to start the jump roll right where Diddy is standing. Like this, you want to sit, like you want to be here. Um, just get used to this. Remember what this pixel looks like. You're pretty much right on this third light, kind of like here. So just remember that, and eventually you'll get used to getting on that pixel. I have one pixel that I like. I don't, like, that's it. I just like one pixel. It's not that precise. You could probably be on, like, three different pixels, and you can still do the same setup, but I try to get the same pixel every time. You can use this pole in the background as a reference. That'll definitely help. So, as you go up, there's this little thing in the background here. There's one there. <clears throat> and this is the one that we use as a visual cue to jump. Um, pretty much right when it's in the middle of Diddy. So it's like right about here. I'll pause one more time, and I've jumped. So right about when it's in the middle, you want to jump. You're going to land on the edge of this platform and jump back, grabbing the fuel tank. Grabbing the fuel tank is very important. You will actually die if you don't grab it. Um, when you get past all of the jump roll and you land on the platform at the very end to sh jump in the barrel or whatever, or after you've shot, been shot out of the barrel at the end, when you land on a platform you'll actually die. Um, Diddy will do the thing where he stomps on his hat because you ran out of fuel and you'll lose a life and yeah. <laughs> so you come back over and you land on the fourth light. <clears throat> and you'll notice that <clears throat> I don't go left right away. I'll show it in full speed, but I wait just a tiny bit so that when I go over Diddy, he kind of has this sprite here. It's almost like a moonwalk. And this ensures the proper height. So at full speed, kind of looks like that. Show it a couple times here so you can get an idea. So I barely wait. I just wait for him to kind of crouch down a bit and then go over to the left. So getting the jump roll. <clears throat> uh, when you get the jump roll, you have to wiggle right, left, and then right in a pretty fast succession so that you don't land back on this platform or back on this platform. Uh, it's very easy to die here, and you're going to need to practice this quite a lot to get comfortable with it. Um, there's no real trick to it. You just got to practice it a lot. It is frame perfect like any jump roll, so just keep that in mind. So you do the wiggle, and if done correctly, you will have a good height. There are a lot of different things you can use for a visual cue to see if your height is good. Um, actually, I'm going to go back a little bit. Oh, alright, I missed it. These bananas right here, you can use as a visual cue. I don't use them. If you hit them though, that means your height is kind of low. I use I use this as a visual cue. If you hit just the banana, you have a bad height. Like you don't want to hit just the banana, that's bad. What you want to have happen is go through the banana and the fuel tank at the same time. It doesn't matter if you grab the fuel tank, it's not going to affect anything, it just means your height's bad. If you were really high up, Safe Diddy was more around here, you'll just grab the fuel tank. 
Um, if you are too high up in the air, you actually will die. And we'll get to that in a second. So I'm going to grab both of them because I did the setup correctly. And it puts my height at a good spot. From here, there are two methods to getting past the bees. I'm going to be showing the easier of the two method, which is very consistent if you have a good height, which is the whole point of the setup is to give yourself good height, to give yourself a pretty lenient window to get over the bees. If I remember correctly, depending on your height, you have like between one and seven frames to get over the bees. And this, I think, yields about five. So there's some visual cues I'm going to use. I'm going to turn around at this post, go left, and then come to this post here and turn right to go back over. And in, done in such a way, I will go right over top of the bees and live. Now, this will take some time to get consistent. I take off one of my earbuds, actually, and I listen to the sound of my D-pad like the presses, the left here, and then the right here, and I kind of have a rhythm for it, and I use a visual cue. And you'll, after a while, you'll start to notice, okay, this is good. Um, and you'll start to notice when it's bad, and when it's bad, you can opt out, and you can wiggle in between the two Bs. Wiggling in between the two Bs is not a very consistent way of getting past this. It is possible to get it you know, like 9 out of 10 times, but you can get this method like, I think I've got it 40 times in a row. So, <clears throat> it's definitely recommended to do the method that I am talking about here. If your height is low, and you notice it's low, say you just grabbed that one banana earlier on, then you would want to wiggle in between the two bees. There's um, not really much to it, you're just going to have to practice wiggling in between them. You're going to want to wiggle the D-pad actually pretty slow. Don't try and wiggle like super, super fast. It just works better with a slow wiggle. And, um, yeah. So I'll just play this one more time. Like, after a while, say if I mess this up, you'll start to notice it. And that's what's awesome about this method, is that it's like giving yourself a second chance so say if you mess this up and you notice you messed it up then you could be like oh shit and then try and wiggle in between the two bees so it it's like giving yourself two tries at getting past these bees because it's hard like no matter how high up you are it's still pretty difficult it's late in the run you're going to be kind of nervous so it's cool to have both options right here this barrel will shoot you downwards. And if your height is too high, you will land in this barrel and it will kill you. So <laughs> there's not much you can really do about that. Um, you know, you just gotta pray pretty much. But if you do this setup correctly, the way I've explained it, you will always have a good height. You know, you'll have like one or two pixels that you will always jump roll at and you'll be able to make this trick pretty consistent. You will won't get shot out of the barrel ever. So there's one bee coming up, you dodge, you know, nothing too special. And that's pretty much it. You jump into this barrel, go to the end, and that's it. Just don't get frustrated. It'll take a bit of time to get consistent at this trick. But it's definitely worth learning, as if you're going to take this game seriously, you need to be able to do this trick. Anyways, I hope that helped, and thanks for watching. Bye.